circumferentially, it could be continuous because it's just sponge wrap. You know, you could put it on kind of in a figure eight. Doesn't matter if you start from the bottom. Doesn't right? doesn't matter. I'm pretty wrap. So you just put it on. Obviously, this is to kind of prevent um, the um, the blister. Does Again, you follow your angles. Doesn't matter if you get wrinkles in the blue wrap. Uh, that cause blisters? You want it on pretty smooth. Like I, I was fighting it there, so I changed it. You want it smooth. Okay. And then um, on the anchors, uh, you put an anchor usually at the top and at the bottom. The tip I had not heard before, except this morning, which I thought was very good, because sometimes they do slide down. She recommends putting two and putting half of it on the skin. So that you get that adherence to the skin, which I think is a great idea. Okay. All right. Then from here, usually, you know, you, you sprain the ankle usually with an inversion ankle sprain. So you're going to put stirrups. And she likes tearing the tape. I have to, I have to pre-tear mine, and I'll show you all how to tear tape because the first class really didn't know how to tear tape. Um, so which way do you want to pull this for a, a typical ankle sprain? Into Eversion. You don't want to tape it into the ankle sprain, so you want to kind of pull it out. So, and you could fan these. Um, they don't have to be exactly one on top of the other. They could be at a little different angle. And usually we put three of those. Those are called stirrups. And obvious. And that's again for lateral ankle sprain. Then you start doing Figure eights. Figure eights usually come across the dome of the talus. Um, you could do um, half of one or a full one. Usually you want to kind of come, watch your angles, don't fight your tape. Don't come and don't let it wrinkle. And here, again, you keep coming on around and back across like this. And you can do this both medial and laterally. So now let's go the other way. Across the front of the ankle, and around, follow your tape. And sometimes I just do it half. So figure eights usually crisscross the front of the ankle. Um, then to close it off, um, again, you don't want to do circumferentially, so you can do, uh, let's see, we'll call them C strips. So you come. She did five or six, I'll probably do four or five. Around the back half. Overlap, kind of cover all your tape. C strips are half strips, they're not full strips. Okay. And then kind of your final anchor here in the front. We can do a couple here. And then probably the last, last one, let's get half of it on the skin. So it's a lot of tape. Okay. But if you think about what you're doing with an ankle sprain, again, the ankle sprain is usually turned that way. So you want to put your stirrups to pull it laterally. Okay. And then one, one way to practice is to take a piece of tape and fold it in, ha on it in half on itself so it's not sticky. And you can practice your angles that way. And then you could do, with that, you could practice kind of doing your figure eights or your stirrups or whatever else you want to do. So. So then with this, and it'd be a good idea, y'all could each do one of these. You could kind of practice doing, let's see, around the ankle, and then if you turn it too much that way, or you angle it a little bit more, angle it, you know, so you can practice with your angles this way. But typically, you want something, a half of a figure eight would be this, okay? Uh, the full figure eight is, you go across the top of the ankle, 
to make around as we continued it come on around the back half to see how that's an eight um, and then close it off with the C strips okay and then um, more anchors around the forefoot keeping half of it on the skin and half of it up here too now to get that off I think she took her tape scissors with the let's see Usually, you have to be careful. Um, you cut along the medial side here, and I'm going to let you do this. That's kind of blunt, but watch your skin. And you come right behind the medial malleolus. You don't have to cover the ankle? I mean, the heel with tape? Uh, you don't always have to. Oh. Yeah. 